about 90 days ago, I changed something in my social media strategies that has blown my numbers up to numbers that I never thought was possible because the previous years, they weren't doing this. I wanna show you what I did right now. These are the three things that I did within the last 90 days to grow my online reach. Let's talk about what I've done. These are three things that I've done to grow my reach over 100% over the last 90 days of the previous months. If you're new here, my name is Josh. I'm a professional photographer and content creator, and my goal is to help you grow as a content creator and a photography business yourself. If this is your first time here, please consider hitting that like button and the follow. That way you can get more tips from me that I've used to grow my business. Okay, so let's talk number one. This is an easy one. Over the past five years or so, I have been a content creator. The thing is, is I wasn't creating content. I was putting out a YouTube video like every five or six months. That's not going to cut it. If I'm not putting out content constantly, I'm not going to get that reach. So that is my first tip is be consistent. Put out something every day. Now you don't need to flood all of your social media accounts with five or six videos per day, but I have noticed the more consistent that I am, the more reach I'm getting across all social media platforms. Now the way that I've been breaking it down is I've been putting out two long form YouTube videos a week. And it's a little different for me because I'm an educator. So I have a lot of content to do on long form. If you're not willing and ready to do long form content or you don't feel that you have a place yet, and I say yet because everybody has a place to do long form content. Trust me, there is something for your business, for your niche that you could be making videos about that would be fantastic. Instead of talking for 30 to 60 seconds, you need to talk for 10 to 12 minutes. And as long as the content is good and you're providing either entertainment, information or education, people are going to watch you. So with short form content, I say put out at least one a day. If you can, put out two a day, one in the morning, one in the evening. Now, what you need to do is you need to go in and see what time your viewers are looking at you. Depending on what app you're using, there are different ways to do that. If you need to, just Google how to see your reach time analytics, and there will be plenty of answers on how to do this. And like I said, as long as you're continuously creating something that's educational, entertaining, or informational, you're going to get the reach. And this leads into my next topic, my next secret, and that is follow your content pillars. If you don't know what a content pillar is, it is the major things in your business, your niche, that allow you to grow. In the photography slash content creation world, that is entertainment, education, and information. One of those three are going to be your content pillars. Are you going to be funny and trending and making the hottest videos? Then you're gonna be entertaining. Are you giving out information like product reviews and behind the scenes? That's going to be informational. Or are you actually teaching someone how to use a camera or lighting or posing? That is educational. These are the three things, these are your three content pillars that you'll need to focus on when creating your content. Now the cool thing is, is you can create multiple different pillars. If you wanna make some entertaining videos in the morning and then educational or informational in the evening, that's perfectly fine. But what I suggest is you look at your analytics and see which ones are performing better and then lean towards those. So if you're creating all three and you see that your educational videos are doing better, put out more educational videos. Or if you're seeing that the behind the scenes slash informational videos are doing better, put out more informational videos. Whatever people are looking at, that's what you wanna double down on. If they're watching the videos of me and my wig talking like a girl uh, and they love that, I'm going to keep putting those out. Because you have to remember that yes, it is about your business, but if you're not providing something for the viewer, they're not gonna watch, they don't care. They don't know who you are, so they're not gonna watch you just because they think you're awesome because they don't know if you're awesome or not. You're not awesome until you prove that you're awesome to somebody. And that is exactly what's going to lead into my third secret. And this is the biggest one. This is the thing that has grown me the most. And that is I no longer talk on a broad spectrum in my videos. If I'm creating a video, I create that video, that script, my talking portions, like I am talking to somebody. Not a group of people, not a general like, hey, what's up guys, this is Josh. I don't do that anymore. 
And now I do kind of like accidentally do it here and there because I was doing it for so many years, but I've tried my best to get rid of that. Tried to talk to one person. So all my videos are like, I am talking to you. And that has made it much more personal. It's made it much more relatable and it's made it much more understanding. Even my short forms, if I'm making a TikTok short form video about my fogger, my DIY fogger that I made, I talked to you. I talked to a person. I wasn't talking to the broad spectrum. I wasn't talking to a group. So what I've done is I have niched down who I'm talking to. And I'm talking to one person at a time and that person is you. This is the way that I've really leveraged not only being able to be relatable to someone, but it's helped me. It's helped me in creating because then I feel like I'm holding a conversation. I look at my camera, I look at you right here, and I just hold a conversation with it. And if I mess up, I cut it out and I keep going and then I splice it and I cut it and shorten it in post. But all I do is just hold a conversation. I just start talking about a topic. I write down my keynotes that I wanna talk about. I make sure that I hit the marks that I wanna talk about. But other than that, I just hold a conversation because if you're coming to my classes, if you're taking my courses, my workshops, this is what I'm doing. Yes, I'm speaking to an entire group in most of those settings, but I like to break it down one-on-one. -on -one. I like my small groups. I like my workshops to be small and, and micro because I want to give you the amount of time that you deserve. You're paying money to see me. You're paying your time to watch me. You're paying somehow, whether monetarily or time consumption, to watch me, to learn from me, to grow with me. So I wanna make sure that I'm giving you the specific time and attention that you deserve. So that's how I've grown over the last 90 days is I've stayed consistent. I've focused on my content pillars and making sure that I'm creating the right thing. And if you're trying to figure out your content pillars, you can use ChatGPT and tell them I am a blank photographer or I'm a blank videographer, whatever you are, and say, what would my content pillars be for my TikTok or my Instagram or my YouTube, whatever you're looking to shoot on. So I have stayed consistent, I have focused on my content pillars and I've personalized my videos. And the personalization by far is the most successful one of the three tips. Now, if you wanna go even further and learn how to grow your photography business even more, I have a free webinar called the Photo Hustlers Blueprint. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description down below. I didn't put this in the middle of the video. I didn't wanna advertise in the middle because I wanna get you the content that you deserve. But now, if you'd like to go further, the Photo Hustlers Blueprint, it's a live webinar and it's free. Link is in the description down below. If you wanna keep on learning though on YouTube, check this video out right now because I think this one, this one's gonna do it for you too. I'll see you in the next video. I'll talk to you later. Deuces.